My name is Dr. Hari Haramurthy. I'm a practicing ENT specialist living in Bangalore and I've been in this profession for more than 30 years. The ringing sound in the ear or buzzing sound in the ear is a very common problem today. This is something we hardly saw many decades ago. When I was training, we might have seen maybe about six of these cases in a year or less perhaps. But today we see them in excess. I see about six cases in a week, even more sometimes. The question is what is causing this? It is not some kind of a disease which is causing it as much as the fact that in today's world, people are extremely high strung, there are very high stress levels, high adrenaline. And I believe that is one of the reasons why there is a problem within the ear where there is a starvation of fluids into the ear blood into the ear. As a result, because of starvation, you can have these problems where the nerves are being affected. The hair cells, which are basically the end organ systems which convert mechanical sound into electrical energy, are very delicate structures within the inner ear. And when they are stressed, affected by high levels of sound or high levels of, you know, starvation, because of whatever reason there can be a dying off of these cells and that can lead to tinnitus. Stress is one of the major causes. Lack of sleep is one more. I've seen extensive number of patients who have severe lack of sleep at night. So nocturnal sleep being affected, it has its cascading effect on the ear and they end up with tinnitus. There are diseases such as you know, infections that can be there which can cause uh, problems of a similar kind in the inner ear leading on to tinnitus. Trauma can also cause tinnitus. Using long-term usage of headphones and earphones indiscriminately with high intensity sounds like music, rock and pop and metal music can also cause long-term injury and this is one of the problems we face today. One of the most important things is to identify the causative factors which is a very difficult process, sometimes impossible to identify the primary cause. Many people have this kind of a problem which has lasted for many years and only when it becomes unbearable they go to see a doctor. So at that point in time, it has gone past the point of no return, so there is no way that we can treat them. One thing that can alleviate their problems is making sure they sleep well. Finding methods of sleeping well would be extremely good. Having proper rhythms such that they don't overwork themselves too late into the night. Doing exercise in the night is another thing that keeps them awake. Or they go into a state of exhaustion and stupor and go to sleep rather than anything else. Smoking can be one of the causes that can be, you know, avoided. So, exposure to loud sounds is an absolute no-no. Making sure you sleep well is an absolute requirement. Making sure that you de-stress is very much required. Apart from medications which can be given and some patients do respond well, it is really difficult to say which of the patients will respond well. If there is a traumatic cause and we can remove the trauma which is causing any impingement into the inner ear, that itself can reduce the symptoms. But if there is other reasons like mentioned earlier, many of them picked up very late, it is very very difficult to treat this problem.